Welcome to It Happened in Grand Prairie, Texas. We'll welcome you to our show. Thank you very much for being tuned in to the most exciting of all of our television show uh, items. Today is no less one of the most important. And so we have our history tape number 668. And we're just so very pleased to introduce two wonderful past presidents of the wonderful Seroptimus Club. And it seems that they just have everything hidden, but they're going to show off today everything that we need to see. And thank you very much for being here. Miss Angela Gessner. Yes, ma'am. Four past presidents. Yes, yes ma'am. Seroptimus International of Grand Prairie, Texas. Four times. Four times. That is good. Didn't get it right the first two. <laughs> oh, and I, I'm so glad uh, to get Liz Payne's here. Liz. Good morning, Welcome, and thank you for having dear. me. And did you have only one or two? I've had two, You've and had possibly three, but I know I've had two. You had two going on three. Yes, ma'am. Well, that's that's good. So y'all have a lot to tell us. Y'all have had a lot of experience. We there. certainly do. All right. I, I have down here, it says, uh, it happened, Seroptimist Club Fundraiser. Is that what we're on to? That's what we're on to. But first, Miss Liz and I would like to say to you, Miss Ruthie, Happy Valentine's Day. Oh well, how very <laughs> nice. And thank you for all that Everything. you do. And, and, for and all I that do you have do a for Valentine. That is gorgeous. beautiful. Thank you. It's thank gorgeous. you. Thank you. For the Don't lay it down somewhere. We might swipe. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> if I can't remember who gave it to me, y'all have every choice of going ahead and and Clean swiping it. it from me. All okay. right. Yeah. Well, uh, first, I, I thought we might tell you a little bit about Seroptimus or let the audience know a little bit about Seroptimus in case they were not familiar with our organization. And mm -hmm. then I think Ms. Liz is going to touch on our actual fundraiser. Mm -hmm. And uh, I brought my little cheat sheet here, if you don't mind me no. using that a little bit. But uh, Seroptimus International is uh, an international organization of business and professional women. Mm -hmm. We were started in the 20s uh, before women could even vote. Uh, there were not any uh, service organizations for business and professional women. Uh -huh. And the man that helped Violet Richardson uh, organize Seroptimus was a Rotarian. Mm -hmm. And so uh, we're structured somewhat like the, the Rotary Club. We've been in Grand Prairie since 1951, yeah. and mm -hmm. we have our Seroptimus House on 121 Southwest Dallas Street. Um, we have, uh, we're in 120 countries, we're community-based, and Seroptimus are women at their best, working to help other women be their best. How wonderful. Yeah. And some of the things that we do, and I'll, uh, we promote the advancement of women through volunteer service to the community. We serve as a global voice on issues of importance. We, com we promote community and educational development through scholarships and awards. And we provide grants to other nonprofits in our communities who are 501c3 and uh, grants to youth organizations in our community as well. Uh, some of the things we do are uh, we sponsor the All A Awards. We and is that with the Grand Prairie ISD? That's with the Grand Prairie ISD. Okay. Also with the Grand Prairie ISD, uh, we have uh, Girl of the Month, Joe R. Campbell Girl of the Month. And at the end of the year, uh, we give three $1,000 scholarships to the Girl of the Year, one from each high school. And it, we're discussing uh, possibly adding Crosswinds High School to that as How well. How wonderful! We have uh, we've supported Lifeline Shelter. We support uh, anything. Uh, we have a grant from the Sal family, and you, some of the community may remember A. W. Sal had Sergeant Sal, and we have a, a, a foundation started in their honor, and uh, we help with eye related issues since uh, Mr. Sal had that issue as well. Um, we helped uh, with a gazebo at Turner Park during the Sesquicentennial. We were co-chairs of that. Um, 
our money that we raise, and I think you'll t you'll tell a little bit about that of uh, the women in history uh, who always support. But in the past, we've supported uh, Santa Cop, Brighter Tomorrow's, Children First Wellness Center, United Charities, Pregnancy Resource Center, Lifeline Shelter for Families, Grand Prairie. This year, we're going to be supporting the Grand Prairie ISD Education Foundation and Children First. So. We're busy little beavers all the yeah. time. Well, you were the majestic one that really got us started with Lifeline. Yes, you was. Yes. Tell about that. Well, learned of a need for, uh, learned about homelessness among the uh, school children in the Grand Prairie Independent School District. Mm -hmm. And uh, the community just was not aware of the situation as I was not and we wanted to, I brought it, I was president of Seroptimist that year and I brought it to Seroptimist and asked them to take it on as a service project because uh, they could help us give some credibility to what we were trying to do as a nonprofit agency. Well, was it true that the schools were the only one that were aware of that and they were working on it and no clubs had a, That's correct. Been assigned that? That's right. I was told that by when I met with the other agencies that yes, there was a need, but they were not designed to take care of that need. They could only give it a Band-Aid effect. Uh -huh. And that, yes, somebody needed to do it, but they, they couldn't. They would be available for advice uh, if we needed them, but they just could not take on that responsibility at that time. So no one was really addressing the issue. But that day, it's not the case <clears throat> at this time. I think they've given you an office and given you oh, many, many Absolutely, things. absolutely. Oh. And they you got just, something Friday. Yes, we have Soups On For Love Friday at yeah. the school district at 11 o'clock. Uh, you come and have soup. Uh, cost is, you give a love offering. Uh, we have Chick-fil-A, we have the city, we have the school district, we have Texas Trust, uh, we have uh, the the Lifeline is going to have a booth where they'll be doing soup and so then at the end you get to vote on which one you like best and mm -hmm. we All present right. an award to that person that's participating. Well, that's so just it's a lot one of fun. example. That's one right. example. But the, what you're talking about today is raising funds for no telling what else. Right. It's for the, all the awards and scholarships and the 501c3 uh, agencies that we support in Grand Prairie. Oh, that's it's you know I've had it told to me many times that if you want something done and want it done right, give the project to Seroptimus and they'll see that it gets done. Yeah. So we're very proud of our reputation yes, yes. and glad that we can contribute back to our community. This is where we were, where I was raised and uh, we love our community and we want to give back. It's where I make my livelihood and my home. Yes, and it sure did impress your dad. It did. <laughs> Who was a Splendid banker in this town. He was. Yes. Miss him every day. Yes. And he would never come on this show and give me his <laughs> wonderful, wonderful interview. He was just kind of shy in that way. Very, he just always wanted. He said, I'm private. He is very private. He never would uh, do that. And if he did something for, uh, Sally mm -hmm. Moore told me a, one time how much he did for the community, but he never wanted anybody to know that he did it. He was just real private about everything. Okay, so now what what are we going to do at this place? Now I'm mm -hmm. going to turn it over to Miss Liz, who's going to tell us about our wonderful event coming up. Thanks, Angela. Mm -hmm. Miss Ruthie, thank you for, for having us and giving us the opportunity to promote our 19th annual Women Influencing History Number 19. Event. Number 19. And the magic date, first of all. March 21st. It's a Thursday evening at 6.30 p.m. And our event this year is going to be held at the Pioneer Event Center, which is located at 1025 West Pioneer Parkway. Okay. And there's and you're the only one that's working on this. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Let's, let's have the full scene. Uh, I have a co-chair. Her name is Karen Wigman. But actually, we have the full support of the club. Everyone that's a member is uh, a part of this fundraiser, and everyone pitches in and does their mm -hmm. individual parts to help make this uh, come about. But this is our major fundraiser that we have every year. 
and the proceeds that we get from this uh, event is used for various scholarships that we give to the community but it it's our opportunity to recognize women in the community yes. that have done some outstanding work and so this is a, a perfect venue for us to be able to do that and if you have time uh, I'll just mention a few of the awards that we will be giving out this year. Let's do that. So tell them about Edelman's. Oh can't forget Here's a copy. the best steak dinner steak buffet dinner that you can have in this town will be uh, at our event and Edelman's is catering again this year. If you've ever been to one of our events or any event that Edelman is the caterer, you'll know that you are in for the most delicious meal that you can get. Our individual ticket prices this year are $30 and you can get a table uh, of eight for $240. So we think that's a great, a great bargain. I mean, you get steak, you get uh, uh, a great atmosphere, you get to see some wonderful women uh, and young ladies honored and you get to see some charities that are gonna be uh, awarded. So we'd like to invite the community to come out and uh, join us and support us as you have in the past because as I said, um, we like to, to honor women and we like to support other uh, nonprofit organizations and this is our best way of doing that. Do we invite only women to this? No ma'am, we have, we have men and uh, I'm proud to say we have a phrase that's used in our club called Seroptimisters, and these are the spouses of the, the Seroptimist uh, women, and they are very instrumental because they support their, their spouses, but they come out. But no, it's for men and women. You can bring your children if you like. It's really a community event, and men are also. We, we welcome men, and we'd love to have them there. The more, the merrier. Yes. Mm -hmm. The more, the merrier. That's wonderful. Yes, yes. And? And uh, I'd, I'd also like to say that in the past, uh, the city has been very supportive of our event and we really, really appreciate that and several other organizations. We'd like the churches to consider sponsoring uh, a woman for one of our awards and I'll mention those just briefly, but we really would like to just encourage the community to come out and support us because we do a lot for, for the city. And, uh, and we'd just they, like to have that If they that have support. someone in this town that's doing a great thing. We'd like to have you nominate them. And they're them. not so optimist and we don't know about them. It's really wonderful to bring them forth. It certainly is. And we encourage that. Yes. We encourage that. Of all of the things that, uh, that you do uh, at, at this event, it's a real party, isn't it? It is. Everyone comes and, and uh, we've just had really positive feedback uh, from the people that have attended the event. They said they've really enjoyed it. And it's really an opportunity. It's a gathering because people's lives are very busy and they don't get to get together very often. So you can come to this event and you meet old friends, see old friends, people you haven't seen in a while, make some new friends. And so it's really uh, a great community event mm -hmm. uh, for us. Now the Seroptimists meet at noon On during the month, don't they? Second and third, second and fourth Thursday. Okay, and uh, so this is not a noon affair. No ma'am, it's an evening affair this year. We're gonna oh, do right. it at 6.30 and Hopefully people will have time to, to get off work and, and, and come on over. That way you don't have to worry about, honey, what's for dinner tonight? We have dinner covered. <laughs> <laughs> and bring, bring, bring and honey with that's you. That's <laughs> right. Bring a guest. Bring, bring a friend. Bring your neighbor. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, just come out and, and join us. But again, for $30, I mean, it, it's a very worthwhile event. You'll, you'll leave feeling uh, very, very good that you came. We're going to feature a silent auction at this event. Oh, you do? Yes. Yes. We... Uh, can we you name some of those so we'll know what we're getting into maybe? A lot of the businesses in town have donated various things over the year. We've had movie passes, we've had packages to Lone Star Park, we've had packages to uh, Quick Trip, uh, the park here. We've had movie tickets, car washes, we've had restaurant uh, coupons, just a number of, name some of the Jewelry, other things. Jewelry, purses. Uh, <sighs> You, you Just name anything it. anything you can imagine. You name it. And I don't know uh, at this particular time if we'll have any very large items that we can do a live auction, but if we get some really fantastic items in that are uh, a little bit above a silent auction type item, we may actually get to have a live auction. So, and that's always exciting. Oh, yeah. You, we never know, but the, the community has been very generous. And then members of our own uh, club 
also donate items for the silent auction and so it it's always interesting and one of the things that we had last year that I had made a point and I was determined I said I had not and I'm not proud to say that I hadn't done this but <laughs> it's completed now I had not had my will done and so I was determined that I was going to bid on uh, that will or state planning package that Kim Thorne always donates to us and that was very and uh, I was lucky to say I was the winning bidder on it I got it and uh, his office the very next week I, well I called him and said I won this fantastic prize and they uh, made arrangements and I got it done within a week and it gives me such peace of mind to know mm -hmm that my estate planning is complete. But that's one of the things that I got from the silent auction last year. Mm -hmm. And so you never know, you can get legal services. Um, there's just a number of things that are available to us that will be available to the community to bid on. But we're just very, very excited uh, about this event. And that's why we need this activity <laughs> yes. that we're getting ready to do, yes. to do some of the things that we've already set to and others that may be in existence just out there waiting for us to That's volunteer right. to do mm -hmm. that. That's and right. I interrupted her before she got to tell you about our, our awards. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. Very briefly. So. Um, we're calling this, of course, our Women Influencing History uh, Awards. And one of the awards that we give is called the Woman of Distinction. And this is for a woman who has made outstanding achievements in her uh, professional business or volunteer activities that have benefited our community over the last 10 years. And we also have a business advancing the status of women. And that award goes to a business or organization which has been particularly active and successful in uh, initiating, supporting, and educating, uh, advocating programs that advance the status of women in our community. And that's basically companies that uh, don't believe in a glass ceiling. I mean, there yeah. are women that have made great, great mm -hmm. strides in their businesses. And we'd like to, to uh, recognize uh, those businesses. And uh, this is certainly uh, one of our <coughs> favorites. It's called, appropriately, the Ruthie Jackson Women in History Award. Oh. And this particular award will go to a woman who has consistently and effectively worked to preserve the history of Grand Prairie. They don't have to be a seroptimist, do they? No, ma'am. They do not do have to be a seroptimist. Any of these have to be a seroptimist. No, ma'am. Not at all. Oh, and and what we're trying to do is really uh, honor the, the ladies in the community. No, ma'am. Mm -hmm. They do not have to be a seroptimist. Mm -hmm. As far as our uh, Worldwide organization, the Seroptimist International of the Americas, one of our signature projects or programs or, or award is called the, uh, the uh, Women's Opportunity Award. And at the local level or our club level, we're very, very excited to be able to give um, this award because there are instances in which there are women who are heads of households and through not, not necessarily any fault of their own, but they have uh, generally been, and they, not necessarily, but they have been victims of abuse or neglect or just basically been in a bad situation. Yeah. But they have made the decision that I want to better my life. They generally have children. They don't have to have children, but they generally are, are single parents. And they want to really just create a better future for themselves and their children. And they make the decision that I, in order to do that, I need to go either to school or go back to school to further my education. And so this award that we give them uh, helps them to improve their economic status by preparing them for uh, a career in the workplace. And so unlike other award programs, this money that we give them, this cash award, it can be used for books child care, transportation, or any of the expenses that will help them reach their educational goals. So it's, it's different from other scholarships that directly has to, that bait that mainly has to be used for tuition and books. Well, if they have wonderful. other needs, they can use the money for that. And uh, Angela has, that reminded me, we have a young woman that we had awarded the scholarship mm -hmm. to in the past. And I want you just to mention to the community the outcome okay. of that. Uh, we've had several make it to the region and level, but this one young lady in particular uh, went on to further her education and become a teacher in the Grand Prairie Independent School District. And she maybe had been a teacher a year or two years and she won teacher of the year so how, how wonderful. wonderful is that oh, she yes. had three children yeah and uh been in the community a long time her family uh, has been in the community a long time so 
she sent us a real nice note that our what we did to financially support her through this award and our support in every other way helped her uh, carry on and fin complete her degree and she's now loving teaching and obviously she's an excellent teacher or she wouldn't have won teacher of the year oh yes uh, with no longer tenure with the school district than she had so we're very very proud of her and her her kids are proud of her and they're doing quite well in, in the school district so she's really gone on to to do accomplish everything we intend the award to help them accomplish so we're very proud of her tell yes. me about your love affair with the seroptimist club you want to start first, or <laughs> oh, let oh, me well, let me mention one last award, and then we'll get to right. our love yes, for the club. Because we only have three more minutes. Okay, Violet Richardson Award. That's an award for a young uh, woman, uh, ages fourteen to seventeen, that has been engaged in volunteer activities. And with this award, we give a cash award to the young lady, but we also give a cash award to the organization that she volunteers mm -hmm. for. So it's kind of a dual award. Oh, wonderful. But we want to recognize those young women that, that actually take time to volunteer their services. So that's called the Violet Richardson Award. Now back to your love affair with Well, I love working with the women that are so goal-oriented and they uh, want to give back to the community. They love their community. It, we bond, we help each other uh, in every way, and it's just so rewarding to be able to do the things that we do that help so many people. And I, I'm just so proud of what we do, and I'm proud of my membership and was thrilled to death back in the 80s when I was asked to join the Seroptimus Club because it was such a uh, outstanding organization and had such an excellent reputation about what it accomplished. We're, we're hard working, you know, if you yeah. don't want to work or become part of something, then you don't want to join our organization. Yeah. But if you have a drive to help others and a, uh, a mission to do what God tells us to do and serve others, then that's, we're the organization for you. We're always looking for new members. Did you want to tell them where to mail the, the forms or how we could get the forms to them for these uh, uh, nominations? You can go on our uh, website, which is siagp.org, and download the uh, application. And you can mail it to us at our house, our clubhouse, which is located at 121 Southwest Dallas uh, Street here in Grand Prairie, and our zip is 75051. That's correct. Uh, they can nominate something for all of these or one of all them? Of them. All, of them. all of them. For any of them. Yes, if they can't get hold of that on the website, then call me at my office, Gessner Insurance Agency, 972-262-5151. I'll put one in the mail to them. I'll email them. I'll fax them whatever they want to do. And we do want to focus on the community and recognize it's not about Seroptimus right. members, it's about those in the community that give and do and serve others that are that we want to recognize that maybe they're too shy and too private to, to let him be. Well, your girls of the month and girls of the year are the most important ones to help the community at that younger set. And, and, I, and I love that committee. Someone said, well, how long are you going to do that? And I said, I love it. I'll do it as long as they'll let me do it. Oh, I we'll just love it. Well, <laughs> meeting the young ladies. We're out of time on all of this. And I was supposed to make some announcements, but I'm going to forego my uh, uh, announcements that I needed to make. And I want both of you to look one at a time out into this guest camera. And I want you to tell everyone we need them to come and, and help us raise funds for some of the most wonderful things for the people of this city. We, we do need you to come. Uh, you will have a great evening, we promise, and even better food. The food is fantastic if Edelman's is doing it. And what you give and what you help support through uh, our event has a rippling effect out in the community and it's appreciated not only by our organization but the other organizations that we help so we're looking forward to you uh, coming and bringing your friends and plan on having a good time one more time the time date and place and right now march 21st 6 30 p.m at the pioneer event center 1025 west pioneer parkway and how much money? $30 for individual tickets or $240 for a table of eight. And we know you have neighbors and friends and you can put together a table and let's do that and fill up that room and just come out, help support a wonderful, wonderful event. 
and that we're all going to be working for that yes. event, right? Yes. Everybody has a job. I want yes. to thank you. Thank you for having You're us. You're so precious to Sir Optimist and to the city of Grand Prairie, Texas well, thank as you. well. And to the city of Grand Prairie, because at one time you were my chairman of many things <laughs> at the city level. I had good mentors like Miss <laughs> Ruthie Jackson. There you go. <laughs> thank, thank you, Miss Ruthie. Thank you so much. I appreciate y'all very much. Thank you. And this is Ruthie Jackson reminding you that we have been uh, making an effort on 668 Sir Optimus history. You've learned a lot about the history of Sir Optimus. And thank you for watching our show. God bless America. God bless Texas. And God bless this city. And certainly, please, Sir Optimus International, add them to our list. Thank you, thank you very much for watching our show.